to be able to graph polynomials, you need to be able to understand linear functions, y is equal to mx plus b, and quadratics, y is equal to ax minus p squared plus q. Okay, because these functions are basically, and cubic functions to a certain degree, right? Cubic functions, right? Y is equal to, let's say, a, I'm just going to give you the basic one, ax, I'll just give you this, ax cubed or something. And then that's just polynomial functions. Because this is a bunch of these guys multiplied together, right? So if you take a bunch of linear functions, let's assume like this, if you want to take a bunch of linear functions, and whatever something like this you multiply them you get something like this right so you need to sort of break things down to their core building blocks so factoring is important think of polynomial functions and every type of functions as different type of molecules put together by subatomic particles okay built by this okay that's what you need to think about okay really get the Build it up from the bottom up. Build it up from the bottom up, right?